Hey guys, this is Rob again with EPS. In this video, we're going to show you some uh, drills that you can do at home or on your speed training workouts to help improve your sprinting mechanics, form, technique, and just to make you a little bit faster. The first drill we're going to do is standing arm drives. Simple drill. The main key points about this drill is what you're going to want to do is have open hands, lock your wrist, and lock your elbow at 90 degrees, and you're just going to stand here. It's better to stand in front of a mirror so you can see that you're bowing out or crossing your body. But practice perfect form going almost chin to pocket. And you just stand here and drive like this. And you just do, you can vary your sets. So you can do 20 reps, 30 reps, and multiple sets. But the main key points again, keep your hands open. The reason why you want to keep your hands open is because when you play sports, if you run with your hands open, football, you can automatically catch a football. Basketball, automatically catch a basketball. You don't have to unclench, and it also helps your body relax. So just lock your hands, lock your elbows, look in front of a mirror. Make sure you're going straight back, straight forward. The main thing about this is drive your elbows back because your muscles work as rubber bands, equal and opposite reactions. So if you drive back, they come forward. Boom, boom, okay? The next exercise you can do is seated arm drives. Very simple, same key principles, drive back. And when you do these, you want your butt to be bouncing off the ground because you're going so fast. Again, you can do it in front of the mirror, have somebody watching you, make sure you're having perfect form. This is a way to work on your arm drives and get perfect form. The last arm drive drill is jogging in place. Just like standing up, except remember lock your arms, drop back, and you're just jogging in place, doing as fast as you can with perfect form. This will really work on your sprinting mechanics and make you an overall faster person. The reason why I tell you to lock your arms at 90 degrees is because in a machine, a shorter lever is a faster lever. So people who run with their arms straight out are taking longer. And if you've ever tried to run without pumping your arms, you can't do it. The faster your arms move, the faster your legs move. So when you have a short lever, you can move it faster. So in result, your legs will go faster and you'll actually run faster. The next drill you can incorporate in your speed workout is the load and explode drill. You're gonna need a pole or a wall. What you're gonna wanna do is get up close to it lean on it, have your body at a 45 degree angle, you put one leg up, make sure to dorsiflex your toe, because that's how you run with your toe dorsiflexed, and you do sets and reps however you want to do it, you just go, you just switch, you switch your legs. Key points on this drill is to make sure you drive into the ground as hard as possible, and also when you're switching legs, don't creep up on the wall. Keep that distance, good 45 degree angle, and you're just loading and exploding. This will help strengthen your hip flexors, make you faster and a better athlete. The next drill we have is the claw drill. Again, you're gonna need a wall or a pole to put your arm on. What you're gonna do, place your left arm or your right arm against the polar wall, and you hold your leg like this with your toe dorsiflexed again, because that's how we run. Knee up, 45 degree angle parallel to the ground. And on the command go or on your own, depending if you're working with a partner, you're going to take your foot, claw the ground, pull your heel to the butt, and back through. And it's a fast motion. So on the command go, you go like that. You can do two sets, ten reps. What this will do again is strengthen your hip flexor, make you quicker. Because your hip flexors are used to pull your legs through when you're running. So it will strengthen that. It will make you more explosive. So again, remember, knee parallel to the ground, toe up, and then you just claw. Claw. Make sure you scrape the ground, back, pull your heel through your butt, and go up because that's the motion when you run. That's the motion when you run, so that's what you're going to want to do. So the last drill we're going to go over in this video is the uh, dead leg run or four step and drive. What you're going to do is you're going to start, you're going to set out a distance 20 or 30 yards, and what you do is you take a step forward, one, two, three, four, and then you shoot one leg up, okay? Again, you're just isolating one leg. When you shoot one leg up, the other leg should stay, the knee should stay locked and go straight to the ground. So make sure to keep your arm drive, arm locked at 90 degrees. Here's what it looks like in full speed. So you're just running along. And then again, you just do that first set distance, number of reps, incorporate in your speed workout. The last thing we're going to talk about in this video is proper sprinting mechanics. 
All these drills that we just went over will help you get better spring mechanics, but some main key points to keep in mind when you're sprinting to sprint at top speed, you're going to need to have your arms locked at 90 degrees, driving back, pocket to chin. We don't want to be crossing, going out. The short lever is a faster lever. We want to keep them like this. We want everything going straight ahead. We want hips in line, chest in line, head and eyes in line, knees going straight ahead, toes going straight ahead. Everything that in our body that we use to run, all our extremities, we're going to have them going straight ahead. Because if you're going side to side, you're just transferring energy that you're using this way and this way instead of all putting it all together to go forward. So remember just to keep everything in a straight line, work on your arm drive, and keep relaxed. Don't want to have your shoulders tense, you want your shoulders down, and you should get to a point at full speed running to where if you see world class sprinters, their face actually flaps in the wind, they're just so relaxed. So you need to work on that, keep everything in a straight line, and channel all your power straight ahead. To learn more about the products and drills used in this video, visit www.trainingwitheps.com. Our products help you train smarter. It's up to you to train harder.